Hey, it's KMA, how's your day today? And welcome to the corner. This week, the server I play on, the Pillow Fort, which is a Patreon server for Jan.com, was invited to compete in the CCG build competition against some other servers. Let's take a look at some of the servers that we were competing against. It's going to be an ice build, and that's what we've been doing all week. A Mumbo server is one of the servers we're competing against. The Family Craft server is another one. Let's see who's over here. Exuma's server. Yes, I recognize that face. Mr. Doom himself. Slip Gator. Stuffing things. Who's over here? Oh, that's us. The <laughs> tell with the pizza. Um, <laughs> that's the server that's going to win, by the way. The Zombie Cleo server. Yeah, very good people there. Spumwack. Gekor. We won't talk about Gekor. And I guess that is it, because we've made a circle. So, uh, we have been competing in this all week long. We've had a week to do it. We are completely done. Then they added an extra day for the people to catch up to us, because we rock, and... People were behind, so let's take a look at what we've done. So this is our plot. I'm going to move the video settings up to 32, extreme, because the plot is so big that you really can't see the other end of it. And I, I'm not going to take a second to wait for this to all come in, but as you see, it is a nice theme. We're making an ice kingdom. And as soon as we come in, we have this beautiful sign. Once there stood a great world of beautiful builds and amazing redstone, but people became arrogant with their use of world edit, and they caused the cataclysm. The world fell to ice. And stay back, bunny bunny. I'm going to uh, get rid of this, because who wants to hold something throughout the whole video? Not I, says the KMA. As we walk in, kind of take a look around. we got some ice trees. We got, you know, a little fort over there, some bunnies, some more ice trees. <laughs> we gotta like the ice trees, you know, it is an ice build and all, so we gotta have the ice trees. And I guess we can come over here and uh, read this sign over here. It says, the Igloo vi village where the survivors began rebuilding. It is believed that their ancestors hid from the cataclysm in the cave at the back of town. So, um... This is like a little igloo village, and everybody on the server uh, that made this build had an igloo village for themselves, or an igloo for themselves. Here's Wolfie's uh, igloo. Let's see who's over here. Jake loves the cake, yes. We got some interesting little villagers, as, you know, every town should. Here's my, the KMA. Let's take a look. If I know how to use doors. And it's just a little little igloo, my little bed. And I um, put a polar bear and some interesting things down there. <laughs> and of course, a little sign. It's just a little igloo, and everybody has their little igloo. Who's over here? Come on. And we got the uh, town center. I'm just going to fly a little bit. You know, nice little square there that Chan came up with. And we got a pole for Jake. It's kind of like a sway pole, I guess. <laughs> and we got Rold's uh, build over here. This is the big igloo, so I imagine this is Jan's because the way she rules, yeah. And the Jan igloo. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. She likes the ice on the floor also. And oh my god, look at that bed. That looks like a comfy bed. I will never know because. I don't ever plan on sleeping in Jan's bed. And, oh, here's a cave back here. This might be the cave that was spoken about in the beginning of the Igloo Village. It's pretty nice. There's things down here with the shaders on. I'm having a little trouble deciding what is ice and what is water. I don't want to fall into the water. <laughs> right on cue, right? Oh my gosh, into the water again. This is one dangerous little cave, but I guess all caves are a bit dangerous, so I'll get over it and get out of the cave before it swallows me up and never lets me out. And we got more uh, 
village people over here. And what is this? I haven't seen this before. There's a lot of stuff I haven't seen in here before. Jakery's Bakery. Uh-huh. <laughs> yum yum. I want some cake. Yeah, that's right. I need some cake. So I'm going to go back to the sign over here and continue our journey through our little ice village to see the amazing stuff that the Pivot Fort has made for this competition and see other servers. And uh, let's see. We went on over here to this path. And this is uh, something I decided I wanted to put shaders on. Because there is so much cool stuff, and the shaders here really makes things look okay. I'm going to take a quick fly through without the shaders on, just because... Um, so you guys can get an uh, idea of what this place looks like without the shaders. So let's see what the next sign says. As the world slowly emerged from the ice, the people were able to fashion better tools and build from wood instead of ice. Although there remains, to this day, those who prefer the igloos. So I guess we had normal house built, and I can only imagine that the library, yeah, we got them all filled up with stuff and things. What's in here? Can we take a peek? Oh yeah, we got library books and stuff in there. A little village, and a little, probably not supposed to be there, but I'm going to leave it there just because. And what is this? Fairy to the myth Mythical Isle. That's this kind of like the fairy to the mythical kingdom. Let's see if we can catch the fairy. And let's see. Oh, no, it's already on its way over to the other side. And as you see, there is a big, a big canyon in the center of this place. And oh, yeah, we do not want to fall down there. Nice mythical building there. Let's get off. I don't like the high place here. And check out the rest of this place. <laughs> All right. And we come around here to this, to the back left corner. I've got some more builds and things. And this path goes back into the, the newer buildings that the igloo people had used. And we have this nice, beautiful ice bridge to the ice castle. And as you see, we can look underneath and scary drops and ice spikes and stuff and here's probably the main build of the thing it's called the ice castle I believe isn't there a sign somewhere out here I thought there was a sign out here maybe there is let's see what's over here let's not get our feet wet it is cold and stuff out here and wet feet and cold makes it very chilly body so we'll keep our feet nice and dry go over a nice this other nice bridge of course the quartz we got brad's place we let's see kind of get almost a complete view of the area it will be interesting to see what the other teams have come up with and how we compare with the other teams, but if this is an open voting, I'll be putting up links on Twitter, but I think it's not going to be voted online, I think it's certain people are going to vote for themselves, um, or like the CCG people will have people vote, as you see there's people from Slipgator's team on here still, and look at this fountain, that fountain is amazing, I love this fountain, I love this castle, this is a amazing build. <laughs> And we can like go up the stairs and stuff and get to the higher places, you know, the walkways and stuff, which just looks simply amazing. I'm going to go this way. I want to go to the top of the tower and these little things right here make it look that much better. And my favorite flower, you gotta love the flower. That is the flower that I dream about when I dream about Minecraft flowers. Yes, I do dream about Minecraft flowers because... That's just how I am. I'm obsessed with this game. So at the top of this tower, we can probably get a good view of stuff. Yeah. Very nice. I will definitely, definitely impressed with the work that the people have done on this server uh, to build this. We go down to the bottom here and get out of the castle. Oh, actually, 
Let's just jump the fence. Ah, good thing it's creative. Would have hurt my feet there. And there is a place where it goes down because there is a nice little area down here that uh, here. <laughs> Don't say that like uh, a Bostonian. And we have the hall. The fountain there. And this is the mighty hall of builders and all bow down to this Queen Jane. That's Jan, the owner of the server. Well, not the owner of the server, but the owner of the Patreon server. We all patronage. We got the builders, we got Voodoo Beard, we got Rolled, we got Fizzbolts. All people you should follow and stuff. We got Mon, Wolfstream, I mean Wolfstrom, Storm, <laughs> Wolfie! Yes, Wolfie, or Make It Rain. We got KMAs, we got Riders. We got Artilella, Sheet Machine, Artamana. Where did Jake put his thing? Is that Jake? That's Jake up there. He got himself a prominent position. So he thinks so highly of himself. Way to go, Jake. You should think highly because of this build. It's pretty awesome. Back here, I saw Jan do this in stream. This is her bedroom of sorts. Oh, and another awesome bed. I won't be so mean this time. So I guess I, I, I would sleep in that bed. <laughs> I felt bad for what I said earlier. I'm like, oh man, I'll probably get repercussions for being mean like that. Is, this, is there anything over here? Oh yeah, this is the Jake room. So I guess this is Jake's and uh, Jan's house. Nice cakes and beds. I love the uh, the red. I would never have used the red, but it's royal. It makes it feel like it's a kingdom. And the best thing about it, oh, I didn't show you. Best thing about this room, this place is and down here you look up and that's the fountain that's above you so that's pretty awesome I really like that Jake did wonders here um, so let's go check out the rest of this place and we'll head out towards what I did um, which is this thingy majiggy with the ice spikes on top that hasn't really loaded in completely yet. I guess we should go over to the bridge because I don't really want to fly. Oh, here's the thing for Jake's place. Let's see what it says. Carved from the fro ice in the frozen stone, the castle of the royal family leads to Queen El Safa. Looks over the rebuild. Confident that with time their great server will rise again. And another one of these great bridges over the ice ravine brings us to this path that goes to the right a little bit to the left because there's a sign over here for my build and my build's still not <laughs> loading in just because I probably got the shaders on and the 32 distancing is a little, a little tough on my computer. The great wizard Notch saw that his experience of with world edit had caused and in his grief, his magic turned his tower to face the world. Below it, a cavern to the bedrock was formed. So, uh, yes, this is a cavern to the bedrock, but it never really made the bedrock because ice dripping from the bottom of this had uh, filled it in a bit. And this isn't a build that you kind of look at from down here because you can't really tell what it is. So I'll, I'll get away from it and look at it again. And there's our little flying, our little flying buggy that uh, brings us to the other side of the island or the, the ice world. So yeah, they, this is my ice spike shrine. It's a shrine to keep the ice spikes on top. And the uh, cavern, I mean the path comes around back over here. And we have these two fishing villages on this lake that Amon made. With the boat in the center, and you know, it's got the, the nice fishing area inside, you know, the shop. And let's see what the sign says because every place here has a sign of some sort. 
It says, It is believed that a monster born of, catac of the cataclysm lives to this day below the waters of the lake, guarding, in it, guarding its pirate treasure. So let's take a look. We're in the lake. Ooh, it's kind of gloomy and stuff. It looks scary with the shaders on. Ooh, is there a monster down here? So there's all these like little nooks and crannies that I, I uh, find in here. I think there is a place to go down somewhere in here and there's a monster. Could this be it? I think this is it right here. Oh, it's because I have the shaders on. There's a monster. You can barely see him with my shaders. Sorry about that, guys. But believe me, there's a monster there. <laughs> Kind of like the imagine, uh, imagination here and done from the mod. Very cool. Very cool. Woo. And I don't want to forget to show this build over here. I am not 100% sure. Maybe Fizz. Oh, wait, this. The Fizz. Oh, Ar Arty Lala. Arty's place. I don't know how to say it, her name fully. Art. Artie Lee? Huh? I don't know. Artie. Artie made this. Excellent. So, that's basically um, the world. And what I'm going to do, there's a big cavern down there. I get, there's a couple of things I need to show you down there. But um, it looks amazing to me. I think this is beautiful, wonderful. And I hope we do well in the contest. By the time I release this video, they'll be judging already. The world is still open, but we've been done for a day or so already. So let me uh, change shaders. Hold on. All right, I just put on the normal um, texture pack that I usually use. And uh, things that I really like about this world is that they got this river coming through here. It goes down. And it falls down. And it actually creates this, like, cavernous... <laughs> cavernous cave that the river kind of goes through and it looks really awesome and uh, it falls down to the bottom and I think the little details like that make this world look amazing we got this over here which Jan had made which is um, encased in ice which is oops, the uh, guardian temple and it's stuck underneath ice in the cave here um, I think there's a couple other caves here. There's one over here that, um, this is the reason why I took the shaders off because you can't really see in here with shaders. There's little things like this that just put the, uh, thing over the edge. There's the, uh, <clears throat> an animal in that cage. We got the ice spikes down here. That voodoo beard made and, uh, basically I copied a lot of those ice spikes and put them up on mine. So, for the most part, the ice bikes I used were basically voodoo bears, so thank you for letting me borrow and steal them. So, yeah, the, um, the, the build is awesome, and I can't wait to see what happens. Let me get on this tree. So I wanted to um, make this video before they judge, because when they judge, they're going to take down the walls, and it doesn't... It will include all the other people's builds because the other servers that we're competing against are behind and behind these uh, packed ice walls. And when they do the judging, they're going to take, get rid of the walls, and then you can see all the worlds together. And I didn't really want to make a video being able to see all the worlds together. So, if there is a voting from fans or whatever, I'm going to post a link so you guys can vote and tag a whole bunch of people in it so we can vote, but I'm pretty sure that the CCG server itself will do the voting for us. So uh, wish us good luck, and hopefully uh, we are the winners, because it would be pretty awesome to be able to beat other servers, uh, specifically like Zombie Cleos, like Slip Gators, Bumwax, Zoomavoid, Mumbos, uh, Gagors, Familycraft, and whomever I may have missed. There's a lot of servers here, so I might have missed a couple. But, um, thank you for watching. Um, I really, really think this is an amazing project, and I want to thank Jan for allowing me to take place in it. Thank you, Jan. This is awesome. It was a lot of fun. I look forward to more of these in the future. And um, have a great day, guys. This is KMA. Goodbye.